Hey guys, and welcome to the language movement. If you are a lover of the Spanish language, um, then this is the place for you. Whether you are a Spanish teacher or whether you are a Spanish student, we have the best resources for you right here in the language movement. What are these resources and how do you use them to advance either your skills or your students' skills? Well, let's talk about it. Okay, so let's start in order of um, some of the smaller resources that are more geared towards beginners and let's make our way down to the advanced resources that we offer here at the language movement. So there's a couple of things that you can do. So first is we have the weekly reading guides. Now, I believe that the best way to learn a language is through play, through ent entertainment, by keeping it fun, um, by relating to stories. And of course, the best story that I know is my own. So I use my life as inspiration for you to learn Spanish or teach Spanish, whatever it may be. So every week on Instagram and Facebook, I share with you three short readings. You can think about these um, kind of like journal entries. So I share with you what's going on in my life, what's new, what I'm up to. and. Using that journal entry, I create a small vocab list and I share both the reading and the vocab list with you through um, different posts on different, different days. And then of course, I share the English translation with you so that you can go back and see what you know and what you didn't know. Um, and then you can go from there. So. Um, that's what we do on Facebook and Instagram. You can look for these throughout the week. They're kind of like small little uh, language input that you can get on your day-to-day -day basis and not really put too much thought into it. Um, just follow us there and you can read and you can read them as they come out. The second resource is comes on Friday. Every Friday on the blog, what I do is these three short readings that I share with you either on Facebook or Instagram, I compile them all into a, a nice little packet that you can print um, in the comfort of your own home or your job, whatever it may be. And in this packet, I also make uh, a complete list of all the vocab that I've introduced to you throughout the week. I compile all of the English translations of the text and I also create a list of comprehension questions that you can answer to make sure that you really understood what the text was saying in Spanish. Um, and I also create a list of personal questions so that you can talk to me about your own life. So you can create your own journal entry and you can post, on, uh, post about it on Instagram, Facebook, and um, tag the language movement so that we can follow along and we can have a nice little chat and get to know each other. These packets are available on the blog every single Friday and you can print those out and you can print out all the readings, all the exercises, all the worksheets and it's and you can work on it throughout the week until next Friday when more readings come out. Resource number three is the Spanish vocab vlog. So again, I use my own life as inspirations for these resources that I am creating for you to either teach Spanish or learn Spanish. Um, so what I do is every other week a vlog comes out, again, of what I'm up to in my life, um, little updates on what's going on, and I record these vlogs in Spanish. Now. You can find the vlogs on YouTube or on the blog, The Language Movement. And while you watch the video, every 10 seconds, I introduce to you a new term or a new phrase that I say to you in Spanish. 
So on the video, you'll see the Spanish phrase and then the English translation. So this is a great one for you to watch while you have your notebook beside you so that you can write down whatever is new to you. Some of it may not be new and some of it you may have never heard before. So it's up to you and where you are, what your level is, and to see how many new things are introduced to you. Now, if you are not the writing type and you just prefer to watch the whole video and um, read the vocab as it's introduced to you, don't worry, we've got you covered. At the Language Movement, we also create a packet for you to do while you watch the, the vlogs. So in these packets, you'll find all of the vocab that is introduced to you in the video every 10 seconds, the Spanish and the English translation. And again, a list of comprehension questions that you can answer either while you watch the video or at the end of the video to make sure that you understood what was going on. And there's English translations of the questions as well. So you can either do it in Spanish or you can do it in English or you can do both whatever your skills may be, wherever you need to um, set your goals at. Now, these vlogs come out every other Friday, and again, it's on YouTube or the language movement, but on the weeks that there's not a vlog, we have another resource for you, which is number four, which is my favorite, and that is Lenguaje de la Vida podcast, which is a Spanish podcast, Spanish conversation for Spanish learners, or again, for teachers that want to use it with their students. So remember the first and second resource were short readings based off of what I'm up to that week. Well, the podcast is kind of an advanced version of those readings. So what I do is I compile all of those readings and I create a podcast episode um, where I dig deeper into the subjects that I introduced to you during those readings throughout the week. So what do you do with this podcast? Well, you get a nice little packet to go along with it as well. So in this packet, you'll find the Spanish, um, the Spanish transcription of the episode, the English translation of the episode, and comprehension questions that you can answer while you listen to the episode or again at the end and personal questions so that maybe you can record yourself speaking as well um maybe you want to create your own podcast where you are just practicing your spanish as well um so plenty plenty of resources for you to do okay all right so that's a lot of information um, within each packet, there are instructions on how to use the resources that we have at the language movement. So all you have to do is just click on the links. It'll send you to the, to the PDF version of it and you can read the instructions and, um, you'll know exactly what to do. Okay. But just remember these resources, we create the resources, but you choose how you want to work with them, all right? Everybody is at a different level and that's okay. That's why these resources are perfect because you can do it if you're a beginner, you can do it if you're advanced. We have all different levels um, that you can work with, okay? So now, go to thelanguagemovement.com and make sure you explore and see what's out there. Thank you so much for being part of this community, being part of this movement, and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye. Now you can think of, of these um, kind of like, you can think of,